Hey guys. Alright, so I just got back yesterday from a trip to Minneapolis to the Mall of America. Um, I went with my sister and a friend and they went to the Foster the People concert and I just kind of hung out in the hotel while they were gone. And so we went to the Mall of America both um, Friday and Saturday because that's what you do when you go to Minneapolis or that area, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, so I did pick up quite a few things. And I just figured I would share it with you because it's kind of exciting and it's kind of a lot of exciting things that I can't purchase around where I live. So, I'll just kind of get started here. I don't think there's really any particular order that I want to go in. So, first I'm going to start off with um, this store called Len. All my shopping bags are kind of beat up because they traveled with me. Um, it's a store called Len um, and it was kind of strange. But they had like, their like claim or whatever was, everything was 50% off. So, which was great, but the way it worked was like everything, if you were to pay full price, I would never pay full price for anything in that store. Um, but the 40% off prices were pretty normal or reasonable. So anyways, they had a lot of cute clothes and accessories and things, and I found this scarf that I loved. Um, and it is a zebra scarf. Like, it's got little zebras on it. And it's um, just a sheer black, little white zebras. Um, and it's big and like fluffy, um, good to wear, I'm just gonna put it on, put it on probably with like a more basic shirt or something, but just put it on this way, kind of fluff it up, just get my hair out, um, I thought it was really cute though, um, it says it's $29, so that means I paid $14.50 for it, and so $14.50 for a cute scarf, um, I'd say that's a pretty decent price, um, and it seems like it's really nice material and really nice quality and it'll just be something fun to accessorize with. Um, next thing is stuff from Lush. So I think this is cute, the bunny's fighting. Um, of course you guys all know about Lush. I only got a couple of things. First thing I got was one of their face masks. I got the cupcake one which is like all chocolatey and yummy. And so then the other thing I got, I kind of tried to wrap back up, um, not very successfully, but it's this Happy Feet. Um, and it's this little gift set, um, four products and one knot wrap, and I think it was $24.95, or maybe somewhere around in there, $23.95, something like that. Anyway, so it comes in this, like, foot wrap, I'll unwrap it again. I wrapped it up to try to keep it all contained, um, when I brought it back home. Um, and then I'm just gonna kinda go off of the little, it has, like, a little insert that tells you what's all in it. Um, so the first thing is the Volcano Foot Mask, and I did use all of this stuff while they were at the concert. Um, I stayed in the hotel and I like gave myself like a little foot treatment. Um, this thing is the Volcano Foot Mask, it says a seriously effective clay mask to cleanse, deodorize, and freshen your feet. Um, so I'm going to show it to you. It's like a really gross kind of color, just kind of a gray, and there's little pieces of like black like volcanic ash in it. It smells kind of like, like fire kind of like that, kind of like ashes or something, um, but you put this on and leave it for, I think, like, for up to 10 minutes, and then you scrub it off, um, and I did use this, and it made my feet feel really, really nice, it was like a clay mask, so it, like, hardened, um, and it gave, like, this really cool cooling sensation, um, next thing on the thing is a stepping stone foot scrub, um, so I broke off, like, the heel of the foot, um, and it scrub your feet with this non-greasy pumice and lemongrass footsie. So I just like broke off a chunk and just scrubbed the bottoms of my feet while I was in the shower. Um, this, the next thing that it has is the Fair Trade Foot Lotion. It says, revitalize tired so soles with this peppermint scented, fairly traded cocoa butter foot lotion. Um, and so, it's like this pretty pink color. And it feels like really, really nice, really creamy, really smooth, really moisturizing. And it's cocoa, but it also has, like, minty peppermint in it, which I really, really like. So I might even use this, like, on a daily basis, like, at night before I go to bed. I'll slather it all over my feet. And then the last thing is kind of just, like, an extra, I kind of think. Um, it says the Geofizz Bath Bomb. Sense of pine, sandalwood, and cypress conjure thoughts of bathing in the warm sea as the breeze gently skims the shoreline. Um, and so this is just, like, this aqua sort of bath bomb. It smells very kind of, like, kind of, like, woodsy but still like fresh at the same time. Um, and so I'm really excited to use this. I have a couple other bath, bath bombs I want to use as well. Um, and then the foot wrap, it has like the, the, the fizzy in it, 
but um, it's just got little cute feet all over it. And you could use that, of course, to wrap other things up in if you would like to. And then they give us a little, a little treat of their Lust soap, um, so just this like pink color. It smells really good. Um, I have so many Lush soap. I just need to like use them. Um, but so that was kind of exciting. They were very generous with the sample. Um, and then this is not from Lush, but it's from Bath Body Works. Just a pair of some more triple body moisture cream. Um, I like the scent, and it it was on their sale, so it was I think three dollars. And I love their little their lotion, their little miniatures. Huh. Um, they're really really soft and not greasy or anything like that. Okay. Um, next thing I'll go through. I'll go. Um, continue I'll go with the makeup um, I just picked up a few things at Sephora just three little things um, one of them a couple of them like I well actually all of them I really wanted uh, so I'll go with the first thing I picked up and it's this Bumble and Bumble straight blow dry and I just got the little one it was $14 the big one is probably at least double the size and it's 28 but I decided with these kind of things you don't need much you just need like a little dab and you put it all over your hair and I have so many other creamy hair products that I was like, I don't need anything, I don't need the big one, um, but I got a sample of this a little while back, a couple months ago, and it's amazing, um, literally, I just, like, put a little bit in my hands and put it through my hair when, after I got out of the shower, and I blow dried my hair, and it was, like, stick straight, and I was like, this is amazing, so, um, uh, I use a little bit today, and I actually did straighten my hair a little bit, because it's really, really humid, and I took a nap after I showered, so I didn't get the whole, like, effect of the blow dry I don't think um, but it still worked really well smoothed my hair out really nicely and it made it super straight I mean I have straight hair but it made it even straighter uh, and then the next thing is the Jack Black Lip Intense Therapy Lip Balm and Natural Mint and Shea Butter with SPF 25 um, since I'm working as a lifeguard I absolutely like need SPF on my lips and so I heard great things about this and I thought it was more expensive than it was it was $7.50 she might be like, that's ridiculous for a lip balm, um, but I expected it to be more expensive since it was at Sephora, but I got the mint because that's the scent I like the most, and I might get another one later on if I like it a lot. I might get a different scent, or I might just get the, the mint one again, but with SPS 25, I know I'm going to be using this on a daily basis to keep my lips hydrated and keep them protected from the sun. And the last thing is the most exciting. YSL lipstick. Um, I got the a gloss, the, what was it, Voluptuous Candy Glossy Balm Crystal Color, and I got it in Cool Guava, which is number nine. Um, originally, I was like, I really want to get one of the Dior lipsticks, and then I was kind of looking around, like, the high-end lipsticks in Sephora, and I was like, I want a YSL. It's like the Rouge Volupt. Um, sheer candy things and so I was like I'm just I'm gonna get one they're the same price and I was like this one's pretty and I really liked um, the color so here it is I absolutely love the packaging I just feel like fancy and classy and like I'm just gonna put this nice expensive thing on my lips um, but it's like hot pink which I'm sure you can see um, but when you put it on your lips this is what I had on already it's just kind of sheer Adds a little bit of pink color, adds a little bit of shimmer, um, but it's really pretty. I'm going to give you a swatch. You're not probably going to be able to see very much of it, but just like this light pink sort of color, um, which I really like. Very wearable. You can wear it every day, and it's super moisturizing. Like, it feels good on your lips and doesn't feel like lipsticky or chalky or anything, um, and I like that it has that sort of like glossy finish so that you don't really need to have um, a lip gloss on top of your lipstick. And I just think it's so cute, so fancy. So moving on to clothes, I'm gonna just do a couple of little things that I got first. Um, so this one, this is just this big, baggy, loose-fitting T-shirt top, um, and this like I would call it like neon chartreuse almost. And I got it from Cotton On, um, which I have in the Mall of America. I've heard of it, um, but I've never actually seen a store. And I got it for $10. Their big shirts like this were 2 for 20 I believe, so my sister got one that was patterned. Um, and I just really wanted a big, baggy, oversized shirt, and I got this in a large. My sister got a, a small, and usually, and I'm just a little bit bigger than she is. Um, like, I probably easily could have gotten a medium or even the small, but I was like, I really like the, like, huge bigness of this. It's kind of like this shirt that I'm wearing right now. 
But I'm excited to wear that. Perfect for summer and $10. So when the ends go out of style, you don't really have to worry about much. Uh, and then I got a top from H&M. And it's just plain. Kind of like that shirt. A little wrinkly because it's been in the bag. But um, just this navy t-shirt. Again, oversized. Oh, it's backwards. Um, it just has a little pocket. It's basically literally like what I'm wearing right now. Um, but it's just navy big oversized it was $9.95 I thought it was really cute I saw it and I was like I really want this I was like $10 might as well just kind of go for it um and I just really like big baggy oversized tees because they're flattering and they're like loose and really comfy and then moving on to the most exciting purchases I think J. Crew. um I own I only own like one thing from J. Crew because there's not one anywhere near me and it's expensive but, so I went in there, I kind of like glanced around, and then in the Mall of America they have like a whole separate room that's like their sale section. So I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go check out their sale stuff. So I was like, I, I should not spend a full price on any of that stuff. Um, but I really wanted a pair of pink shorts, and I was gonna get their like neon pink ones. Um, and I got an email recently, they just came out with like a new length. It was like between their short ones and the longer ones. And I was like, I'm gonna get the neon pink ones, like I was like decided before I'd even tried them. Um, and then I got there, and I went to the sales section, and I found these. So, so cute. Um, they're just like pink, like straight up pink. Like, if you were to ask me what color pink was, this would be like my like, definition color of pink. Um, and they're high-waisted, and they've got these super cute buttons. So they're kind of like, they're really, well, obviously they're really preppy, kind of nautical-ish. Um, oh, so cute. And they're like a little bit longer than short shorts, but not like too long. And the best part about them is, is they were like the only one there, and they were in my size. They're size 12. Um, and you see the price sticker here it says $24.99, which you would say, oh my gosh, that's an amazing deal for J. Crew. And they were 30% off of that. So they were $17.49. Like, you can't beat that. You can't, like, you can get shorts for like $15, $20 at Target. These are from J. Crew. I'm so excited. And they fit me perfectly, and they were so adorable. I'm so excited to wear them. And then I got a few more things. Um, I got this top. Just It's their vintage cotton t-shirt. And this is in a large. And it's just blue with red stripes. And I'm going to wear this on 4th of July. <laughs> I know that's it's like really crazy or whatever. But um, it was $14.99 and then 30% off. So it was like $10.50. So I don't know. It's just cute top. Perfect to wear with a pair of cut off jean shorts. And be festive for 4th of July. And then there's also the Olympics coming up. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of American pride going on this summer. And then I got this really, really cute kind of, I don't know if it's a sweater, what you describe it as. It describes it as a delicate linen sweater. So we'll call it a sweater because I think that's kind of what it is. But it's not like soft or anything. Um, but it's like this neon pink, really cute color. And this was most expensive. It was $39.99. Um, so it was like under 30 though with a 30% off. I don't know. 28 maybe? Um, but it was just really cute. It was in a large again. And just really cute, sort of shorter sleeves. I like to scrunch my sleeves. Neon pink, a sweater top. And I think this is really cute for like those cooler summer nights. Or even tra transitioning into fall, like into the beginning of the school year when it's still a little bit warm out. Um, and the last thing is just a cute little bracelet. I saw this the last time I was at J. Crew earlier this spring, um, and it was a, just, I think it was still $20. Um, full price is $29.50, and I think it was $19.99 when I saw it, um, but then it was 30% off, so it was like $14. It was just pretty, like, blue, like, normal, just like regular blue with, like, these little gemstones. I know if you've been to J. Crew or if you've, like, seen J. Crew stuff, that's like, I mean, like, you've seen this bracelet before. They have it in a ton of different colors. They had like an orange on sale, and then they had like a peachy and like a minty. I think another color like out front for the thirty dollars. And I, but I felt like for fourteen dollars, um, that was like super cute, perfect for layering, perfect for summer. Just really cute and really preppy. Um, and then I guess I saved the best for last, or at least what I would say the best for last. Um, I went into Neiman Marcus because I wanted something specifically or one uptight kind of something specifically um, and so we went to the little Joe Malone area so pathetic. Um, 
and I was just like, I have wanted to check out Joe Malone stuff for so long. Um, I know they're like gift kind of things, but I like I have been working so much this summer, and I'm just like I want to buy things for myself. I feel like I I can do that because I just work all the time. So I went and I picked up one of their perfumes, and the lady just packed packaged it up all nicely and pretty in this little box. Um, so it's Joe Malone London, and then here's the perfume, and I got the scent Nectarine Blossom and Honey, and. Like, she was, like, showing us, she showed us a whole bunch of different ones. They were all, like, sp like displayed out there. Um, and she, like, like was spraying them on the little, like, scent um, tester cards. And I was like, this one. Like, this is the one that I want to get. I, I mean, what does it spell like? Nectarine, Blossom, and Honey, I assume. Um, I don't want to, like, waste it, but... Because it smells really, like, citrusy but florally and sweet at the same time. Like, this is, like, my perfect scent. Like, I, like, shoot, there was a whole bunch of other ones we, like, smelled and stuff, and this one, as soon as I smelled it, I was like, that's the one that, like, I love. Um, and I was like, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna buy it. It's $55 for a little one ounce of perfume, but I was like, it's worth it. It's totally worth it, and it's totally worth it for the service. And the lady that helped us, she was so nice. Like, we're just three, like, young girls, like, completely out of place in Neiman Marcus, you know, just, like, wearing our cute little clothes, like, I was, like, she was so nice, super nice to us, and treated us like normal human beings, whereas a lot of sales people are often kind of rude, and they're, like, judgmental, and, like, oh, they're not gonna buy anything. I wanted to buy something, and she was nice, so I did. Um, and then she was super sweet, she gave me this little booklet that's, like, says the world of Joe Malone, and it just has, like, information about, like... Joe Malone and like all their scents and like descriptions and things so that was really cute and then she gave me a whole bunch of little samples um so that I could keep them in my purse so I got a whole bunch of little samples um of that scent and then of the what other one was it it was like bluebell wild bluebell gotta find that one hmm because that was another one that we liked um here's the wild bluebell so I just might have sprayed that one so I'm not going to smell this probably but smells I just smell it smells like almost like I was gonna say like cantaloupe but that's weird but it, I mean I assume it smells like bluebell um but so that was so super sweet of her and so I have now little ones to keep in my purse with me on a daily basis and then I have the perfume bottle to keep at home and wear it's gonna be like my special occasion perfume um but that was just super exciting it was just like kind of a fun experience just to go do and treat myself to um, something that was completely unnecessary, but completely fun at the same time. So, um, with that, uh, that's what I purchased this weekend at the Mall of America. And I'm super excited about everything. I'm super excited to wear my new clothes and um, my new lipstick and my new perfume and whatnot. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this haul. And, as always, please remember to comment and subscribe because I really, truly appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.